do do do. I don't know if you can hear me. I am doing a test stream. Test stream. Stream. Test stream. How's my stream? Anybody can see how my stream is. Alright, I don't know if anybody can see my stream. So we're going to be testing. Except that. Okay. So, right. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so, hey, this is the Old Gaming Geezer, and it's time to do some streaming. So, yeah, I'm doing some streaming. Streaming a little Kerbal Space Program today. Looks like... I am live and everything is working. So we're going to start. So what I'm doing here, uh, what I'm doing here is a, uh, whoops, is a KSP live stream. So we're going to be live streaming a little KSP today. Um, I'm going to start a new game and it's going to be a career game. And uh, a career game. It's all going to be fairly standard. I'm going to call it streaming. Death, because you know, hey, streaming death is what what you do, you know. You're playing KSP, so streaming death it is. So we're going to choose let's choose something cool here. Maxo construction looks good. Echo. Sh Sean's can. We're gonna go with probability. Go with probado. We're gonna go with the probability flag. That's what we're gonna do. Probability flag, because it looks cool. And we're going to start. We're going to go. We're going to move. We're going to live stream. So let us live. Let us play some Kerbal Space Program. Now, so this is the first time I've done career mode. So there is uh, Gene Kerman. Hi, Gene. Um, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to start this thing. We're going to go on mission control. Let's see, we're going to science, gather science data from around Kerbin. We shall take that, and we shall launch our first vessel. We shall do both of those immediately, if not sooner. So, uh, right, okay. So, uh, there is somebody watching now. Hello, somebody is watching now. Uh, say hello, whoever it is who's watching now. Okay, so we are going to uh, launch our first vessel, which is going to be one of these. Oh, let me turn off Kerbal Engineer. Not require that at this point. I'm going to put a parachute on top of that because we're actually going to launch this. Uh, we're going to put a small flea solid rocket booster engine on there. We're going to put the thrust limiter down. We're going to put the the, uh, the amount of fuel on it down because we only want to launch a little bit. Uh, what kind of... What is this? Oh, Kerbal Engineer. Now we don't need that. So I'm going to put a couple of these on here. A couple of mystery goo containers. Or mysterious goo things. Things. Things of mysterious goo. And we're going to call this um, the Floppy Floppy One. So Floppy One, we shall save Floppy One. We shall check our staging because if we don't check our staging, things are going. To... Okay, so our shock, solid rocket booster is going to fire first, and then our parachute is going to fire. That is what our staging is. Let us launch. Launching. Okay. Do do do. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, we are on the launch pad, and uh, my output is low. Okay, so something's going wrong. So I'm going to uh, quickly launch this, and we'll see what we can do about our output. Something has gone horribly wrong. My KSP has crashed. It's crashed. My KSP has crashed. Okay, well this is a good opportunity for me to try and figure out what's gone wrong here. Ah, let's close that down. 
And uh, I think we'll do something a little bit different. SP, I think I'll go window and I'm going to go 720p. There, look, it's me getting Vader in the background. Okay, looks like we're streaming again. Are we back? Our stream has resumed. So let us resume our game. Streaming death. Okay. We have resumed streaming death. Oh, uh, why is it doing that? Ah, uh, okay, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, quit to main menu. It's not supposed to be doing that, it's supposed to be full screen. Okay, hold on a sec, let me just... Uh, pretty good at this sort of thing. Settings. Ah, uh, graphics, let's go. Okay. Hopefully this works, huh? Good? We're all good. Okay, this looks good. Okay, so start game. Back to um, resuming save, which is streaming death. Loading. Okay. So as I said, we're doing a Turbo Space Program career mode. So my stream is resuming. Stream looks good. Let's load the ship we uh, we already did, which was the floppy one. Loading the floppy one. Floppy one is loading. Okay, we're in. We're going to launch the floppy one as soon as we set up our staging. This is our first ship, so bang, launch it. Clear the launch pad. Oh, I didn't know the floppy one was already on the launch pad. Okay. Damn. Okay, well, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so who we've got Valentina Kerman inside. Hello, Valentina. Valentina's going to do ourselves a little crew report. Report. That data. And we don't need to actually throttle up because this is a, a solid rocket booster. So we're launching. Launching up. Launching up. We have one person watching. Hello, one person who's watching. Uh, why don't you tell me your name? Stick a message there in the message thing. And tell me what, 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 what's happening. What's the happy haps? A crew no cancel down that data and we're coming back down so that was a very simple first uh, first mission um, to get a little bit of data and to launch our first vessel which we have done we're gonna bring this down real quick bring it down real quick two people watching hello two people watching welcome to my YouTube e channel live stream stream health is okay what does the stream look like does the stream look good Peace Shooter, and I just woke up. Peace Shooter, welcome to my stream. Let me get this thing down pretty quickly. And here we go. Landed. Bang. Back on the launch pad. That is the kind of precision landing that is my kind of signature sort of thing. Alrighty, so let us, uh, before we do anything, my KSP looks like it's just crashed again. There it goes. KSP 64 is not responding. <sighs> this sucks balls. Alrighty. Alrighty. I can do this. We can work this. Ah. <sighs> Yes, yes, shut it down. Sorry, guys. Here, here, it's gone. Okay, we try one more time. That's annoying. It's really annoying when that happens. Okay, we'll try one more time. This time, I'm quietly confident that everything will be fabulous. 
And if it's not fabulous, well then. 64 is supposed to be better because not helpful for me most of the time. 64-bit KSP, what it is, it says it uses 64-bit memory addressing, which means it can use more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's not... I don't think it... You know what? I don't know enough about programming to be able to tell you this. I'm not a computer scientist. But as far as I know, it's able to use uh, an, an enormous amount of memory whereas the 32-bit version of KSP can only use a maximum of gigabytes of RAM. I think it's a little less than 4 gigabytes of RAM. I think. Not sure. Uh, so, actually, you know what? You're probably right. I could probably switch back to the 32-bit KSP. But we'll have a look first. See if this works. Resuming our saved. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm ready. I'm rocking. All right, we have to do the flight again, so let's just do the flight again. Unless it's saved with her landing. Landed. It might have. If that's the case, then we can store it. No, it didn't. Okay, well, let's launch Valentina. La Valentina, let's rock. Booyah. Let's turn this thing this time. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. And somebody was calling me from downstairs. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. Okay, we're doing the mystery goo. Okay, keep that. Going down, so time to deploy our parachute. Let's turn off the SAS. Excellent. Oh, are we going to land on top of the VAB? That would be pretty cool if we landed on top of the VAB. I don't think we're going to land on top of the VAB. Alright, well, let's just fast forward till we get down. Down. Coming down. And let's not die when we get down. All right, we're down. We're down. Uh, I'm going to see, can I EVA her? EVA? Yes. So we're going to get an EVA report. Yes. We're going to take data, and we're going to store experiments. Okay. We're going to board. We're going to do another crew report, uh, EVA report, uh, goo report from here. We're going to do another crew report from here. The... You re record the crew's assessment of the situation. Yes, we are landed right beside Vehicle Assembly Building, which is awesome. Okay, so now let us try to recover this without it crashing. Let's do it. <laughs> Booyah! And... Yes! Okay, so we got 25.6 science, giving us a total of 30 science. Excellent! We got back 2,600 funds of crew bucks. So we now have 82,543 Kerr bucks. And Valentina came back, and she gained a little bit of experience. Excellent. Okay, so let us go to the... Uh, uh, what are we going for here? Research and development. Well, let's research some stuff, okay? We don't have much stuff we can research at this point. So let's research what we can. Basic rocketry. Always good. These first two are... You know, you always gotta get them. Five science for that, and engineering five science for that, so leaving us with 20 science, which means we could get... could get survivability. We could get stability. Or we could get general rocketry. Hmm. Decisions. 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 I think we're going to go for survivability. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Alright, so we've gone for survivability, and, okay, next, so we got, what did we get there, we, we got some milestones, okay, that's good, we broke a speed record, launched our first vessel, blah de blah de blah uh, we launched, okay, we, we fulfilled our first two contracts, which is gather scientific data and launching our first vessel, so that's great, so let's go back to the mission control and see what other um, other ones we can do, right? Conduct 
focused observational survey of Kerbin. While clearing up, proving, and after proving nice theories about how the day on Kerbin is truly six hours long, one disgruntled worker visiting experimental engineering group reached a dubious conclusion on how a day on Kerbin is clearly five hours, sorry, six hours long. Now, as you've surely deduced already from all this, that's why we're here. Okay. We need to test our newly acquired capabilities with a focused survey of Kerbin. I hate these ones. Take a crew report in flight 16. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not doing that. No way. Uh, okay. It's, oh, it's, I hate these ones. Especially this early. They're, they're really hard to do early on in the game, so I just don't do them. Uh, test a heat shield at the launch site. Let's test a heat shield at the launch site. We'll do that. Uh, anything else we can do at the launch site? Flea booster at the launch site. We'll test those. That will give us that's easy bucks. Both of those easy bucks. So let's go back to the VAB and let's do some easy bucks. Easy, easy, easy bucks. They won't be disturbed next time. Okay, let's get the... Uh... Okay. Test the heat shield. To perform this test, use the run test option in the parts context menu. Okay, so first of all, let's get a pot and let's get a heat shield. Okay. And what was the other thing we need to test was a flea, an RT5 flea, solid rocket booster. Well, we'll test that even though we've already used one. Yeah, the flea. We'll stick that on there. Now, we don't even have to fly with this. We absolutely do not even have to fly with this. I didn't have to turn down the thrust limiter. I just wanted to get rid of all the fuel. Uh, I'm going to take a goo with me because I did not take a goo report from the launch pad. We should do that right now. I don't think I took a crew report from the launch pad either. Stick one of those. I'm not even going to launch this, so I'm not going to bother with a parachute. And I'm going to stick... Uh, I'm going to stick Jeb in it. Okay, Jeb is going to do it. And uh, let's look. This is not even a proper craft. What? Leave the vehicle? Oh, cancel. Don't ah, crap. Press the wrong button. Idiot. What am I? I'm an idiot. <sighs> okay, looks like my stream sucks. What's the stream looking like, guys? Pea shooter. What's the stream looking like? Does it look sucky? Anybody? Want to tell me what the stream looks like? No? Nobody wants to tell me what the stream looks like? Because it looks sucky. Okay, we're going to launch this thing. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, as such viewers will experience buffering. Are you guys experiencing buffering? Because, uh... Uh, YouTube is telling me that buffering is happening. It's a little skippy on frames, but it's handling. Okay, well, thanks, Peace Shooter Pank. Thanks. Okay. Sure, that experiment. Okay, so this thing, we need to run the test on the heat shield. Test is run on the heat shield. Excellent. And now we shall... We shall activate the flea. Flea activated. We have fulfilled our contracts. Excellent. We got money. Money. We got science, science, and we got reputation. We got street cred, yeah. All right, let's just uh, recover this vessel. Do, 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 do. Okay, science twelve. We still can't afford to get anything, but we've got some science, and we've got ninety-five thousand kerbucks. Okay. Alrighty, what can we do next? We could try and escape the atmosphere. We could try a test. A stack decoupler while landed at Kerbin. This is an easy one. For easy money. What else can we do? Just observational survey. Go away. I said, I said no. Here we go. Escape the atmosphere is on our list. Radial decoupler landed at Kerbin. Oh, I got active. Nothing, right. We got a radial decoupler landed at Kerbin. Stack decoupler landed at Kerbin. We're going to take both of those. Two easy ones. I'm doing the easy ones, guys. Easy ones. Easy peasy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be just doing the easy ones. Right, let's lose this. Lose this. We'll lose this. I mean, this. Losing it all. Ah, 
so we got a stack decoupler. We got a we're gonna stick that down there. I'm just gonna stick a parachute on here just for safety because I have a sneaking suspicion something will go horribly wrong. This doesn't work properly, so stick that up there. Oh, oh, poof, stick that down there. Go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Um Right, so we need this kind of decoupler. Let's get two of those. Get a couple of these on there as well, just so we can decouple them. And we're good to go. This is our good to go ship. This is our test ship. We're going to decouple these. Then we're going to decouple this. Then we have this parachute just in case things go horribly wrong. So let us launch. Try this one. Try not to die in the process. Okay, let us use the lateral decouplers. Perfect. Worked like a charm. Excellent, and we got our contract. Stack decoupler. Perfect. We got our contract. Worked like a charm. We got Kerbux. Almost 5,000 Kerbux each for each of those. We got about 9,000 Kerbux there. That's that's great. 9,500. Very happy recovering vessel. Booyah! Okay. Yep, data gathered. Science up to 14. We've got over 100,000 buckaroos. And Jebediah Kerman has got some experience. Not much, but a little. Okay. I think... I'm just going to go out of here for a second and go to the Research and Development Lab. No, we don't have enough to get any of the new... We need 18 for stability and 20 for general rocketry. That's alright, because we are now going to... Cheat. Did I say cheat? I meant cheat. Oh, when I went to the launch pad, it froze. Oh, no. So, is anything happening? Can you see anything? Anything happening? Is it working? Uh, you know what? I'm going to come out, and I'm going to try and change my settings in uh, Open Broadcaster, and hopefully get this thing working again, okay? I'm going to quit and come back in a minute. Uh, where's OBS? Settings. Let's see, can I adjust the stream settings? Output. Race should be. Is that a bit better? Oh, it's good now. Okay. Well, let's say that I just changed the bitrate, so as I lowered the bitrate a little bit, it should be a little bit better. Okay, we're going to resume our game. We're going to try this again. Thank you for the update, Peace Shooter. Okay, so what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to go to the uh, space plane hangar. And I'm going to launch a science -y, experiment -y thing. Um, oh, I have the goo! I was sorry, the science junior. I didn't realize I had the science junior. I can go back into the launch pad and do the science junior. But I'm going to do some uh, mystery goo here. Uh, what else have I got? No, nothing else. Okay, so this is just, just to grab some science from the runway. Because I want the extra science. I mean, who doesn't want the extra science, right? You know, we won't talk about the fact that we've tipped over. Uh, keep that. Let's just turn this over a little bit. Not that much. Ah, you're back. <laughs> we'll observe the mystery goo. We'll keep that data. We'll open the, uh, observe the materials bay. Observing materials bay. The materials show little signs of change, although one of the samples appears to be judging you silently. You can't judge me. You're an experiment. Okay. EVA. Uh, take data and we'll store data. We'll do a crew report from here. Oh no, do a EVA report. And we didn't get anything. Okay, so we'll just jump off here. Okay, set experiment. Okay, we shall do a EVA report from here, from standing on the runway. Gives us 2.4 science. This is excellent. More science is better. Climb. There we go. 
Get out, now. Ah! Jebediah. Now, get in, get in. Grab. And board. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, 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 okay. Let's recover this one. Okay. So, is the stream a bit better now? The issue is still selling me it's a bit shit. Okay, we now have 29 science. We're going to get something from here. We could go for... We're going to go for general rocketry. Okay, general rocketry is what we got. And now we are going to... We're going to attempt to escape the atmosphere. Mmm. The swivel engine, liquid engine in flight above carbon. Get an advanced 7,000 and a completion bonus of 20,000. I think we're going to do that. And we need to use the swivel engine above 36,000 meters. I think we're going to try that one. Now, we're not going for a full orbital flight here. We're going to escape the atmosphere. So, using Kerbal Engineer, we're going to build a ship. The decoupler. Uh, this. And we need some fuel, obviously. Fuel is always good. Uh, swivel engine. So we need the swivel engine. And what's our delta V there? That's pretty. We're also going to have. We've got this one. Now that is going to get me quite high. The thrust to weight ratio is extremely high. I'm going to do it. Trust limit this a little bit. This should get me above 36,000 meters. I think. Should I bring some more experiments? That is the question. I'm going to take, uh, take that aerial just in case. But should I bring some experiments? That's the question. What do you think, guys? Peace shooter, should I bring you some experiments? I'm only going suborbital here. Not going orbital. You know what? I'm not going to do experiments because I'm going to wait till I go orbital by bringing experiments. So This is just going straight up and straight down. Fulfilling a contract. And I'm going to call this the Floppy 2. Floppy 2. Save the Flappy 2. And we're going to add fins to it because uh, <laughs> it's going to go very floppy if I don't add fins to it. So there we go. Alright, let's do it. Quick save and go. Flappy 2 to launch suborbital. It's going to be beautiful, I know it. Okay, maybe I thrust limited a little bit much, but hey, we're going up, so that's that's all that matters. To tip over just a tad. Okay, I think that's tipped over enough. Okay, this is going well. Now, what was our contract? 36,000 meters. Should be going 480. Oh, we may not be. Probably be going too fast when we get that high. Let's see. About to run out of uh, solid rocket fuel here. Making it.
We're at the right speed, but we're not at the right height. I want to slow down. Don't want to be going that fast because I want to get the height, not the speed. Will we escape the atmosphere? Here we got the speed. Very close to getting the height. Oh, this is not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. There's no point. Not going to work because I should have staged to it between. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is going to work. It is going to work. Slow down, slow down. Nah, lost it. Damn, it would have worked. I, I, the reason why I stopped, the reason why I thought it wasn't going to work is I thought you had to, to stage to. The uh, thing. Whoa, now we're going into space a little bit too much. Damn it. Okay, I'm actually going to turn around because <laughs> we. Um, I didn't quite mean to go that high. No, sir. No, sir. -y. But I'm actually going to slow down. Just wanted to get out of the atmosphere. I brought too much fuel in this thing. I'm terrified of burning up, so I'm just going to bring it down to there. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to lose Jebediah this first space flight now, right? Do I? Wait. I'm going to hold on to this fuel because I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to have to slow down on the way. But we're in space! Jebediah is in space! Crew report! It seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems mostly to be below us. Five fucking points. God, I thought it was going to be more. All right. Okay. 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 Five. Five points. Great. Okay, we're on our way down. Turn that off. Okay. On our way down. Luckily, we're not going too fast. I was worried that we are... Actually, I'm now worried that we are going too fast. We are going much too fast. Okay. There's a distinct possibility we might lose Jeb here. But I'm going to burn as much fuel as I can to slow the hell down. Okay, that wasn't a hell of a lot of fuel. Oh, we've... Burned off our parachute. Damn, ah, my staging was wrong. Sorry, Jeb. Let's see if we EVA him out. The last second. We're going to EVA Jeb at the very last second. We're going to try and save him. My staging was wrong. This is all my fault. All my fault. And... EVA him. Ah! Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Oh well. Bye, Jeb. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> okay, so we've lost Jebediah. <sighs> we did get to space. We got to space. But we did lose Jebediah. But we do have science to spend. Uh, we can get stability. Let's go for stability. Okay, so we have we we need to, to, to we need to make this better. We need to do it right. Uh, I'm going to thrust limit this a little bit more. I'm going to take uh, Valentina Kerman on this mission. I don't want to 
want to be going quite so fast. Got the thrust weight ratio. Thrust weight thrust weight that the ratio. Uh we got fuel. And we shall do our get our staging right. And uh we're gonna call this the Jeb Memorial Memorial Floppy. Jeb Memorial Floppy. <sighs> Jeb, we hardly knew you. You were so beautiful. You were a star that shined too brightly. Too brightly in the sun. Aw. Okay. But, uh... Where did you get this game from? I bought it from the company squad. I did not buy it on Steam. Bought it from directly from the company that made it. Uh, but you can buy it on Steam. It's not expensive. It's a great game. Okay. That is going to cause problems. But we're going to do it anyway. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do it anyway. So we save. Jeb Memorial Floppy. Okay, Amrick Wagner and Lacey Williams, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. Um, is Kerbal Space Program coming out in PS4? That's awesome. I didn't know it's coming out in PS4. Of course, I don't have a PS4. Yay! We are launching the Jeb Memorial Floppy. And already the weight of this has offset my thrust. So now we are going slightly sideways. Can you see that? Wow. Okay. So the P shooter says that the console version is going to have a lot less control, a lot less parts, and Amrick Wagner is saying, and a lot less performance. Well, I don't know about that. Uh. Forty euros on Steam? Is it forty euros on Steam? Fucking hell! Okay, this is not working. All right, we're gone much too far sideways. That is because of the weight of the mystery goo. It's not giving us anything, so we will reset the experiment. Okay. I this is not this is not working. I'm going to revert this flight because the mystery goo is causing problems. So I'm going to dump the mystery goo. I'm gonna get along. I'm gonna get it work. I'm gonna get it working. Dumping the mystery goo. And we're gonna try that again. We're just gonna go straight up. I wanna get a successful suborbital flight here. Well, I had a successful suborbital flight the last time, it's just that, you know, my pilot died. Um Which I've heard is is if if the crew of your spaceship died, I heard somewhere. But that means the flight was not a success. Um, I heard that somewhere. Don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> uh, so I was out today, and I was going to not do a stream because it was uh, a beautiful day. And then I was out, and it was raining. And uh, I got rained on, I got really wet. And then it rained again, and I got really wet. And then I came back in, I said I'm going to do a stream. And now I'm looking out the window, and the sun is shining brightly. So, there you go. what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I think I probably trust limited this a little bit too too much. Um, I have no control, which is normal. I can't control anything. Okay. Nope, that's the wrong one. That one. Okay, so I want to be... I want to be going too fast. The reason why I trust limited I don't want to be going too fast when I reach 36... 36 kilometers altitude. Running out of fuel now. Okay. Going up. Still going up. Okay, we've reached our speed. We have not reached our altitude, but that's okay. 
It's going to go out here for a second. Oh, what did I do? I accidentally shut down my engines when I kept them on there. Okay. Apparently my apparently my cat has murdered five mice today. Keep going too fast. And there he is. Come to tell me all about it. Come tell me all about it. Okay, we're at the height. Sorry, I'm at the speed. Just want to maintain the speed. Get to the height. Almost at 36 kilometers. A little kitty cat. He feels like he got rained on too. Ta -da. Yes, did it! Excellent. Okay, now let's see if we go suborbital and get this person back home safe and sound. We have completed our contract. And... We are officially a suborbital. Excellent. Can we get a crew report from high in the atmosphere? Yes, we can. Excellent. And let us, just in case, just in case, let's uh, do the report. Let's transmit that report. Oh, I'm going to run out of power long before I get transmitted, aren't I? Nope. Excellent, we transmitted that report. So, Valentina, how do you feel? You're, you're about to go into space. A slowly rotating rocket. And Valentina is officially in space. The pea shooter, you had the same problem. You got thunder too. Where are you at, pea shooter? Where are you based? Sorry, I'm not very quick at looking at the... Um, chat. Too busy trying to figure out how to fly rockets without killing my crew. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to fast forward back down. And fast forward back down. And fast forward back down. Could dump the back of it now. But I'm going to use the fuel to slow myself down. Like, now. Get, get back, 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 back. Oh, that's the problem. Slow down. Slow down there, Sparky. Okay. We're slowing down. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, I've used all my fuel, so I may as well dump this. Yeah, all my fuel is gone. And five kilometers up and falling. Five kilometers up and falling. We are safe to deploy our parachute. We are three kilometers. Let's deploy our parachute. Parachute is deploying in a the reef format. Peace shooter, you're at in Alberta, Canada. That's very good. I have never been to Canada. Canada. Fast forwarding down. Okay, this looks like it's going to be our first successful suborbital flight by Valentina Kerman. Well done, Valentina Kerman. Have a look inside. Wow, there is nothing in here. Water. We're down. We're safely down. Excellent. Okay. So, Valentina's going to do a quick EVA. She's going to take... Oh. A report? Yeah. And store experiments. Scored. Did she do a crew report? Oh, yes, we transmitted our crew report. We'll take that. Okay, so, more science, more fun, more science. Excellent, that's all good. And... Bang! Okay, we now have a grand total of 30 science, which is excellent. 
We have 307,000 funds, which is also excellent. Valentina Kerman has no XP. Why the fuck have you no XP? She got no XP from that. That sucks. Jeb is missing in action. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right, okay. We'll figure something out here. So we have money. We could upgrade this for 220. No, we can't upgrade it. Not for that money. But I figure we are instead going to spend some of our beautiful, beautiful science for maybe some advanced rocketry. Maybe. General construction. Maybe. Aviation, probably not at this point. Flight control, maybe. Uh, oh, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough science for any of this shit. Okay, let's go back out. Let's see what mission control has for us. Ferried four tourists to their destination. Suborbital flight around Kerbin for no, no, for, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Uh, I guess. I guess we should orbit Kerbin. That's going to be what we're going to do next. We're going to orbit Kerbin. And um, we're going to orbit Kerbin like a boss. We're going to own Kerbin orbit. So we dump this. Dump this. I said dump that. That. Uh, uh, now, we're going to go into orbit, and we're going to do lots and lots of science when we're up there. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. So this is the service bay. 1.25 meter service bay, and in the 1.25 meter service bay, we are going to put some goo. Nope, some goo. Uh, very carefully center said goo. Right there. We are going to put a Kerbal engineering system. Because... Oh, come on. <laughs> Kerbal engineering system, because I am... The kind of person who thinks that Kerbal engineer should be in the game. Um because it's basic stuff that you really need, in my opinion. Uh, shall we take a spare goo? You know, we're going to take two goos. Two goos. Just in case. We are also going to take... Oh, we're not going to take any batteries, because we don't have any batteries. I thought we had batteries. So this is going to be a bit heavier than our normal thing. I'm going to put a second parachute take this off. Just put that over here for the minute. I'm going to take a second parachute, because this, when it comes down, is going to be a little bit heavier than normal. And this, my fine little um, antenna, I'm going to put inside there. To angle it so that it's coming out. When I open. So when it's closed, you won't see it. Excellent. But when it's open, then we can Extend the parachute. Or not the parachute, the antenna. And also we're gonna put some materials bay. Okay, so underneath that now, because we're going for orbit, underneath that we're going to have to add this. A heat shield. Because it's possible that we might lose everything. So Valentina Kerman is gonna go into orbit with all of this stuff. She is going to perform experiments in orbit. Really hate that little fairing around that, so I usually actually pop this here around the e shield. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little fuel tank here and a little swivel engine here. This is just gonna be to get us final shot into orbit. I'm gonna turn on a Kerbal Engineer. That's very little delta V. This gives us 600 delta V, which hopefully is going to be enough. To just pop us into orbit at the end and deorbit us later. Uh, I need to just make sure that I'm not 
Right, we can have another 15 parts. Okay. Let's go ahead a bit. And... Get a Reliant Engine under here. That is not enough to get me into orbit. Close to the edge of my... So, two more parts. That is not enough Delta V to get me into orbit. They're heavy. Too heavy. If I put a couple of these on, that's going to... It's too heavy. These smaller hammer ones might not be too heavy. I have battle royalty couplers. Let's try four of them. They're probably going to be too heavy. Oh, way too heavy. Way too heavy. Let's change it to uh, two of them. Still too heavy. Dang. Okay. I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to pull this off. Nope, I'm going to put that back on. Pull this off. I'm going to lose the materials bay. We're going to hope. That is still not enough to get us into orbit. Damn. Damn. I need about I need about another six hundred meters per second of delta V to get into orbit. If my calculations are correct, which is quite possible they're not. We are lighter. That brings us too much. Okay, what we can do, I'm going to call this the uh, Floppy 3. Someone can think of a better name for the ship than that, please tell me. I'm going to go out to the Space Center. Hey, Flaming O. Welcome to the stream. Whoops. Now, I can upgrade the launch pad for 75 per bucks, 75,000 per bucks to do that. Back in we go. Okay. Actually, that does still does not give us enough Delta V to get into orbit. That does. Okay, that is enough Delta V to get us into orbit. Plus. Get some fins on there to help build a bit of stability. Okay, that's it. This is it. This is going into orbit. This is the plan. Orbit or bust. Okay, save it. Check my staging. So, solid rocket boosters fire. They decouple. Main engine fires. It then decouples. As uh, final engine fires, puts us into orbit. Deorbits us. Decouple. Parachutes. Okay, not getting as much science from this as I wanted. But we're going to get some. So we save and we launch. Let's do this, fucker. Let us do this. Okay, what's the stream like? Is the stream good? Is the stream bad? And I've only one person watching. I've lost everybody. Okay. Well, if you're the one person watching, what's the stream like? Is any good? And we're launching. 
we're launching. We're launching, we're launching, we're launching. We're launching in a very weird trajectory. Going way too much, too fast. This is going to be a failure. This flight will be a failure. I can tell you that now for nothing. God damn it! Yeah, we're reverting. Reverting to the vehicle assembly building. That was a complete and utter failure. Complete failure. We failed in every sense of the word. I'm going to dump those. Dang it! Could we get... What gear have I got here? I just need to get into orbit. We could do this. This can be done. Just don't know how. Have to figure this out. I'm gonna dump that a little extra uh, stability. Actually, with that gone, we can take, we can get these back. Hold on, we can get the solid rocket boosters back. See, that parachute was giving me a little bit of off-center drag, which was causing problems. So if I get that back. I get with that gone, I can add these back on and hopefully regain some control. Alrighty. Wish I had another. You know what? Open the service bay. I'm going to lose the communicatron because I don't actually need the communicatron. <laughs> 